Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Hello, teacher. Hey, hello. Good to see you guys. Welcome. Thank you so much. Hey, good to see you guys. Thank it's you. A, it's a pleasure to have you back, you know. And I was like a little worried because, I mean, I was like, you know, what happened with this stuff? Pero aquí estamos, así que bienvenidos a todos. Tiene que estar bien fresquito. Acaba de llover hace poco, así que estamos activos. Right, activated. ¿Cuántos, cuántos habemos en la clase ahorita, teacher? Let me see. Eh, seven, seven students. Yes. Aquí se había ido la energía en Santa Ana. Es, sí, en un sector. Una, es una zona del país donde se ha ido la electricidad. Entonces, Por la lluvia. Yes, yeah, it's like a little weird. Sí. Right? Pero lo importante es que estamos aquí y estamos activos. Así que eso es lo que cuesta y lo que vale. <ríe> Así que thank you guys. Yes. Uh, thank you guys for being here. We had the chance to practice English, to study English, right? That's something that we love. Así que vamos a iniciar. Y, thank you. Um, por cualquier cosa, por cualquier circunstancia de la vida, vamos a enviar nuevamente el enlace porque, um, bueno, ya la mayoría sabe que a esta hora, pues, están siempre activos en la clase, ¿sí o no? Hay algunos que ya están bien activos. Están como bien dos enlaces en el chat. Sí, teacher, pero es probable que alguien se pueda perder, igual que nosotros ayer. <risa> sí, pero ni, ni en el módulo uno. Es de borrar había, uno. Mire, ni en el módulo uno nos había pasado esto, pues. Imagínense. Exacto, ni cuando fue primera vez que nos conectamos, imagínense. ¿Hasta dónde hemos llegado? Le digo, pues, <risa> en vez de mejorar, las vacaciones nos caen mal. <risa> es, es normal, yo creo que es normal, siempre pasa, así que... Bueno, ni modo, eh, siempre sucede, así que lo importante es que estamos aquí y que estamos ya listos para aprender inglés, porque hoy yo vengo con la disposición de aprender de ustedes. No sé cómo van a ser, pero me tienen que enseñar a mí ustedes hoy en la clase, así que, eh, no sé, necesito ayuda, así que, chicos, you can do it. So, we can do it. Lily. Yeah, she's good. Yeah, she, Lily, yeah, yeah, she's great to speak English. Why not? She's good. Se aprende a decir yes, yes, pero en este caso decir no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this is the opposite. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Pero bien, así que, um, thank you guys uh, for being here. You know, we always have the... Ay, no, 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 no. Vamos a iniciar y preguntarles si pudieron revisar su material. Did you check the material? Did you check the material? Uh, yes. The presentation. I know that you know sometimes it's like a little busy, but we we can try. So right away, I'm showing you uh, the presentation. So do let me know, guys, if you can see it here. Uh, the units is work related event. What are we going to study today, Wendy? Uh, Wendy Maribel, can you help me to read? Uh, can you help me to read the, the name of the conference? Time expression for regular activities. Yes, so the focus about this, this class is going to be working with the time expression. What kind of expressions we use? Especially most of you guys that you are very, but very busy. You are very busy and also and you have a lot of things, a lot of activities and um, well, this is uh, a little challenging. So we're going to write in the chat that we're waiting for you guys. We are waiting for you. Maybe because the rain too is affecting some people. 
Eh, this could be another problem too. Es que a veces la lluvia también afecta a muchos que, que vienen. El día de ayer uno de los compañeros venía conduciendo and I was, was driving with the camera on and it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's very, very challenging. Pero bueno, felicidades porque créanme que así venir conduciendo y pues being concentrated is like you have to be focused about where you're going. Muy bien. Uh, we're going to pass the attendance. Teacher, yes, one yeah. question. Go ahead. No sé si solo yo lo estoy viendo con eco, teacher. En serio. Ya yes, se oye. Estuviera claro. en un, como que estuviera encerrado en un baño, se oye. Pero... Uh -huh. eh, a ver. Uh, Ahora. Continue. Yes. It, it's the same. Es lo mismo. Sí. Yeah. Eh, le veo que tiene eh, solapa y le veo que tiene audífono. No sé con cuál de los dos está comunicándose. Ah, no, el otro está desconectado. <ríe> eh, es, que los, es que está en otra. Ah, en serio. Sí, está en otra clase. No tiene nada que ver ahí. Permítame. Bueno. Yeah. So that would be. It's because it was in a simultaneous class. Eh, Siempre me siguen escuchando con, con eco. Feedback. Sí, como, como feedback, como que estuviera en un cuarto sin muebles ni nada. Uh, ¿Ahora? Ahora sí. Ah, es que estaba en una que se llama eh, Microphone Array Realtor X no, no sé si mis compañeros lo logran escuchar mejor ahora. ¿Me escuchan mejor? Ok. Yes. Sí. sí. Perfecto. Yes. Perfecto. Ya ve. Perfecto. Pues es que aquí hasta de técnico la hacemos aquí. <risa> ok, <risa> so, no, aquí somos todo terreno, you know, that's the way. Ya ven, por eso es que. Ya, ya ves, por Hasta eso. más fina se le oye la voz. Para que sea así bien. Este, 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 puro este, alemán, este, ¿verdad? <risa> puro alemán. Oh, ingeniero. Ah, para que sea así. Yes. <risa> okay, <risa> guys. That's definitely important. Ok, so okay. We're, going to, we're going to pass the attendant list first. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. And. Um, Let me see here. Okay, I'm the number 10. Ahora yo tengo el grupo número 10. Imagínense, ahora somos 10. Yes. Time ago we G were like. Yes. Okay, so, uh, Martes, Tuesday. Ana Cecilia Portillo. No está Ana Cecilia. Eh, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Um, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present teacher. Uh, Brian Javier Caramona. Present teacher. Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Cristian, no está Cristian. David Orlando Álvarez. David Orlando Álvarez. Present. Oh, ahí está. Um, Eli Atzael Matut. Present teacher. Um, Guillermo Antonio García. Present. Eh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. I'm here. Excellent. Eh, José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Jos okay. uh, present. All right. Eh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. It's not Karen. Ok, Marisol Betsania Pacheco. No está Marisol. No está Marisol. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera Santos. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Santos. No. Eh, Mauricio Enrique García. Mauricio Enrique García Olmedo. Um, Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez Present. Oh, he's there, all right uh, yes, Mayra Veraliz Moreno Oh, she's there Ok, ahí está, muy bien Omar Francisco Hernández Present. Eh, Zaira Mar Marlene Larín 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, Wendy uh, Maribel Zabaleta. Present. Great. And Jenny Suleima Santos. It's not Jenny. Okay. Y Loida. Loida Vigail Robles. She's not here too. Okay. All right, let's start, guys. And well, thank you for being here. Hoy sí, eh, como dicen, vamos con todo. Okay, and I would like to ask you guys, what were we studying in the last class? ¿Qué veíamos en la clase anterior? Can you tell me? I don't remember exactly what were we studying. Can you help me to, to see? What were we studying? Uh huh. A ver, ¿qué estudiábamos? What do you remember we studied? Were related related to the event. Okay. And what was this about? ¿De qué se trataba? What where, where we did we study? Activities in the workplace. Activities in the workplace. Ajá. Uh -huh. And what what did we do? ¿Qué hicimos? A ver, cuéntenme. What did we do? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Practice with partner. Ah, and what did we practice? What did we practice? And in the read the conversation. In the read conversation. Ah, and we read a conversation. Aha. Uh -huh. And we, read, and, and we read that conversation. Okay. Practice. Dialogue. Dialogue. Practice. Dialogue. A dialogue, right? Excellent. Uh, can, you, can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we were talking about that, right? And in, in this Make, case, yes. Hello? Make sentences. Yes, we work with some statements. We work with some statements. And also we socialize some information about a uh, workplace and everything. So that was actually good. Entonces, eh, muy bien que hemos repasado un poquito esa estructura. Así que vamos a continuar eh, hoy con nuestro nuevo material, with our new material. And as eh, Wendy said at the beginning, that we were talking about uh, time expressions for regular activities in the simple present. So that's mean that we're gonna have a backup about the last uh, content from the uh, previous model. And we're going to use the present simple for third persons and for plurals. Let's start. Let me see, uh, Eli, what are we going to do? Read, help me to read please. Okay, I will be able to talk about routine and everyday situation. Exactly, routines. Digan conmigo, routines. 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 Yes, routines. routines. It's routines and everyday situations. Routine. Talk about a routine. Routines in everyday situations. That is going to be the goal that we're going to study for this class today. The first thing that we're going to do is this. Okay, like this. Uh, hmm. This is the warm-up activity. Think, uh, because in an office, there are always- T-shirt, T-shirt, T-shirt. Yeah? Pareció Karen, teacher. Ahí está, Karen. ¿Dónde está? Hola. Hello, welcome, este, Karen. Aquí, aquí, hola. Míreme. Okay. Yes, pero, I know. Le quería hablar a Eli. Eli, tu amigo, no me acuerdo cómo se llama tu amigo, uno de los con los que hablaba, anda perdido en otro grupo y no me sé su número. Mauricio. Ese. Mauricio Rivera. Ese, ese, justo ese. Anda perdido en otro grupo. Ahí hace como cinco minutos. Hijo, pues no tengo ni el número para mandar el... el... Y que él, no tiene él, está con, él está con nosotros. Hola, 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 hola. Teacher, teacher. Hola. Vamos a ver, please. Sí. El, eh, Mauricio se acaba de comunicar conmigo por, por Messenger. Entonces yo acabo de enviar el, el link a él por Messenger. 
Sí, de hecho ya se, ah, okay. ahí está en el grupo. Estará, Muy bien. Por, estará por llegar ahorita. Ok, perfecto. No, pero no está metido todavía en el grupo no, de WhatsApp, es que teacher. En el grupo de ah, WhatsApp no aparece. Yo tampoco el, 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 estoy. No están en el grupo de WhatsApp. Quiero ver. No, yo tampoco estoy. No Quiero sé. ver si puedo, si puedo mandarles el, el grupo. ¿Le voy a mandar por acá? Y le escribí y me ignoró. <risa> Ey, no he revisado. <risa> Vamos no, a ver. hombre, esto ya es maleficio. Ayer nosotros pero, nos perdimos pero, teacher, y ahora se pierden los teacher, Hola, compañeros. Dígame. Ahí, es, ahí está. El, el, está todos los pasos a seguir para meterse en todas las plataformas de WhatsApp, de descargar, de sí. Zoom. Sí, pero es que a mí, vaya, a mí por lo menos me mandaron dos links. Entonces primero entré al otro y me confundí. Luego entré a este y ayer me, por alguna extraña razón me salí. Después ya no pude entrar. Es cierto, teacher. A mí me hablaron dos profesores ahora, teacher. Que ¿Por qué no he aceptado las solicitudes en internet? Porque me las han mandado de regreso. Otros. Sí, ya, ya, nada. ya vamos a revisar eso ahí. Eh, bueno, Nosotros aquí es... no nos podemos mover de este grupo. No nos podemos mover de este grupo. <risa> <risa> ok. Y mire, mire, pero miren qué es lo interesante. Que a Eli hasta lo pelean para que estén en otro grupo. O sea, otro nivel. Es Me están otro, llamando. Otro nivel. No, dos teachers Por me hablaron, teacher bien raro. No dejan porque no estoy en ningún grupo. <risa> Hoy, la víctima. <risa> ok, Todos guys. Los fans lo siguen, dice. Oh, really. hasta, lo, hasta le hablan que se vaya okay. a su grupo. Okay. Otro nivel. Up? Ok, vamos a iniciar Welcome ya porque ya, ya llevamos tiempo, chicos. Eh, what yes. activities do secretaries do in your company? So, for this one, I want you to take a short time to think about what are the most common activities that uh, in this case, and we are like uh, socializing about secretaries because secretaries are incredible in a company. Many secretaries, they work so hard because they need to uh, answer phone calls, looking for this, moving this, moving this. They have an important role in the company. Without secretaries, that would be hard to have a closer communication with people. So that's why it's important to, uh, to know about secretaries. For this, okay. we're going to have a short time to think and to make a list about what activities do secretaries do in your company. So please uh, check this out. I will give you some minutes and then I will be asking you one by one, uh, what activities do secretaries do in the company? All right, we can start in, as you know, the rule, the golden rule. Esta es la regla de oro, the golden rule. If you have an equation or doubt. Teacher. Yes? Si no tenemos secretaria en la empresa. Uh, think about what secretaries do in general. Inter o sea, lo que hacen en general. So what secretaries do in general? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, okay. Yes, using your okay. creativity, it's going to be no secretaries in the company. Okay. It's complicated. Yes. Yeah. And there are some other people in the companies that they they have different positions in the company. They are do everything. Ellos son hazlo todo. Tienen varias funciones in the company. Y mute your phone. Okay, guys, uh, make the list about the activities uh, the secretaries do in the company. Uh, questions about vocabulary, you have the freedom to ask questions. Si tiene preguntas, también puede hacer las preguntas.
Eh, teacher, yo tengo una pregunta para decir, uh, por ejemplo, que hace el recordatorio sobre el pago de los biles de la empresa. Eh, first of all, eh, recordatorio podría ser un reminder. Reminder. Eh, this is in English. Let me hear. It. Let me let me write it here for you. So that's what we call a, it's a reminder of the, what else do you say? Usted dijo que era, ella hace, eh, she makes a reminder. Yes. Uh, she makes a reminder of the payment del pago, ¿verdad? Me decía. Sí. In, the in the company. So she makes a, a reminder uh -huh. of, the, of the payment. So she has the responsibility to, you know, to ask people to pay in the company. Sí, sería eh, como que le, le dice a, a su a su manager eh, el recordatorio del pago que de, de los biles de la empresa y igual del pago de los empleados, ¿verdad? A uh -huh. veces casi siempre los señores no se acuerdan, entonces a veces ellas siempre van y le dicen, eh, mira, mañana toca pagar tal cosa o esto y lo otro, así. Ok. Of the people and the staff of the company. Of the people and the staff in the company. Of the company. So that would be one example that we can use. What's the meaning stuff? Staff. Uh, this is like a le como cosas, eh, ya sea objetos, eh, cosas en general. That is the stuff. That's the meaning. Y cosas adicionales. Additional stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes. Yes, hello. ¿Cómo se dice que, que ella maneja la caja chica? Eh, aquí en El Salvador le llaman caja chica. It's like a petty cash. Eh, um, Of the petty cash. Okay, uh, any other question? Okay. All right. Uh, did you finish? Yes. The other activity. Excuse me? It's uh, prepare the meeting room. Okay, uh, prepares. Okay, uh, prepares the meeting rooms in the company. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, that's that is good. Okay, what else would you like to add, guys, about some other activities uh, that secretaries, you know, do in the company? What else would you like to add, guys, in this part? Help me with this. The secretary sure. checking mail. The secretary um, is supervisor. Checks the, the email. The, the email. secretary attend a, a meeting. The secretary uh, call client. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the secretary write report. Write report. All right. That's okay. And uh, what yes, else would you yes. like to add, guys? What else would you like to add? What else would you add? ¿Qué más agregarían? So Elite gave us great examples. Uh, in my work, uh, prepare. Uh, in my work, it's a uh, prepare internal correspondence and send it. Teacher. Oh, Hello. Uh, the secretary organized the meeting. Uh, she prepares the meeting, so she prepares. Yes. Okay, and also to be like organizing. Yes. Yes. Lo voy a decir y se lo voy a decir en español y si no es así, usted me corrige. Vale. Go ahead. Bueno. Uh, the agent of all events. Sería lleva la agenda de los eventos de la compañía. Sería the agent of all events the company. Like this, right? So she takes, uh, she takes, uh, She takes the agenda of the events in the company. So that's okay because she's responsible. Why we say she also could be he, but the question is that I have, I have a question for you guys. Uh, secretaries are most men than women or more women than men? The secretary, what can you tell me? Are more, uh, are more. Yes. Teacher. Yes, I am listening. Uh, she received information for the boss. Okay, she receives information for the boss. She receives the information uh, from the bust. Okay, I have a curious question to ask you guys. Tengo una pregunta curiosa que hacerles. Okay. Eh, secretaries are more women than men or equal or more men than women? For me, more women. More, more, more women. 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 Yeah. Or have you seen, well, this is another question that I ask you guys. Have you seen uh, a, a men secretary? Teacher, y uh -huh. puede, puede pronunciar esta palabra recibe. Receives. 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 Teacher, I see a couple of yeah, really, uh, men secretaries. I see a a, a couple of the men uh, as secretaries. As secretaries, and how do people call them? Y cómo les llaman? How do people call them? Le dicen secretarios. Vaya donde secretario. secretario. 
en las alcaldías, quizás. Sí. Llueve bastante. Uh -huh. Pero en una empresa normal podría Dice, haber un nombre de secretario. ¿Han visto ustedes un nombre de secretario? No. Yo no. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a, a the eh, tendency. Yo vi un secretario. I see a man in, in secretary. A secretary, okay. Uh, the boss, the boss are women. El secretario de la presidencia. <laughs> ah, but this function changes. Esa función cambia un poquito. Because it's not, you're not in a desk, in a front desk. Y, sino que ya es algo más administrativo. O sea que usted, la, el, el, él era secretario y la muchacha era el jefe. Something like that. That's what you yeah. saw. Uh -huh. Change role. Okay, change role. That's okay. That's good. All right, let's go with the next activity, switch, guys. Switch, switch, switch. role. Yeah, switch the role. Okay, so congratulations because you got a great ideas right there. Yeah. Me corrigen la última, teacher, no sé. Which one? Okay, the secretary take dictation of boss. Take? Dictations. Take dictation. Dictations. Of, ah. of Bush, of boss. Dic, uh, dictations of uh, the, one? from the boss. Dictation. From the boss, right? So, so she makes, or oh, this person makes these dictations uh, from the boss, or from the person in charge. When you want to write a letter, so you had to yes. know that, right? So that's good. All right, so, Not. yeah. No more questions before we go on to the next part. No more questions. No? No questions. No questions. No All right. Okay, let's go with the next part. Hey, we have, hey, David Orlando. Nice, nice, David Orlando. Hey. <laughs> okay, so... Look at this. Let me see. I will choose. Okay, Karen. Karen. Uh, help me to read the instruction, please. Okay. okay. Read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Exactly. So what we had to do, guys, That's is right okay. Yes. And, and then practice with the partners. So we're going to listen first the conversation and then we're going to make a kind of role play and we're going to have a pronunciations about the vocabulary here we have. So look at this. Okay, let's go with this. Sonia, um, what does Dominic do? Well, he's a secretary. She's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day, every day exactly? Oh, um, see, see your point. Well, she types reports and uh, send emails every day. And she's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, vamos a escucharlo una vez más. Y le vamos a dar ese toque, ese toque, eh, el acento ya que el acento es muy importante para, para nosotros. El acento nos mueve. All right, so we say that. Hey, um, what does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, so let's practice with two people here in the conversations. Let me see. Um, let me select somebody here. All right, so...
I need someone to help me to read. Okay, uh, David Orlando, David Orlando, help me. Uh, you will be math and Jenny, yeah. you will be Sonia. That's okay? Let's try guys. Okay. okay. Thank you guys. Go ahead, you can start. Uh, what does? Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every exactly? Oh, I, I see your point. Well, the, well, she types report and send emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely, absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person in the office. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, guys. So it sounds like very natural. We're going to listen again. And also you can practice in silence, right? You, after me, you can do that. It says, um, what does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, um, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she's, in the, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, and Jose Arnoldo, you will be math. And we will select, let me see here, a Mayra Beraliz. And uh, you will be Sonia. Okay, what does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Right, thank you so much. Okay, guys. And as we know, you had a great uh, practice. So we're going to go and make pairs to socialize this conversation. Remember that we say reports, send a hardworking woman and arrive. The pronunciation of this word is arrive. Arrive in the office. Arrive. Arrive. Right in the uh, office. Right. So yes. Right. So what what does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do right. every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. <clears throat> well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Well, does she arrive she early? Yeah, she's the, the first person to arrive day. in the office. She um her work. She Watching woman. Nice, nice. Ok, vamos a hacer, vamos a hacer parejas eh, para practicar esta conversation y vamos a hacer un role play. Entonces usted va a hacer A y la otra persona va, va a hacer B and then you change roles to practice the pronunciation. If somebody has a doubt or has a questions about the vocabulary, si tiene alguna duda sobre vocabulario, yo voy a estar ahí eh, moving around eh, to see this part. Okay, okay, uh, recreate the rooms. Maybe. Nice, so we have, okay, much better now, much better. Okay, yes, we are exactly working in pairs. That's awesome. 
Okay. Okay, and like this. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's practice the conversation in pairs. Okay. Accept the invitation, right. please. Yes. Uh, Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Hello. Jose Rodrigo. Uh, Jose Rodrigo. Mm, maybe he has some problems with the internet. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. I don't know, he's not there. So I'm going to chat here because um, he's not there. He's not uh, active uh, now in the group. So let's see. Well, let's let's see this group right now. In the office. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Again. Again. What does Dominique do? Well, she's a secretary. Sí. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she type reports and send email every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, ¿tienes preguntas sobre vocabulario? Eh, sí, esta palabra absolutely. Abso absolutely. 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 Look, absolutely. 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 Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Otra That hard work. He arrived. 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 You did it. Arrived. It's okay. In the arrived. Office. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Comenzamos. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Uh, absolute, absolutely. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. What does Thank Dominique you. do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Will she tape report and send email? She is a hardworking woman. 
Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Arrive early? Arrive. Yeah. Yeah, arrive. she is the first person to arrive in the office. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> what does Dominic do? Well... Yeah, she is the first, uh, first right in the office. Okay. Vaya, y ahora ustedes son eh, No, ahorita va David que es que es Sonia y vos sos Mar. Así no eso le dije, pues Eli. <risa> dale, dale, ticha te quiero ir, ya está adentro, <risa> What's do, what what's those Dominic do? Well, she's secretary. Oh, I see every day exactly. So I see your point. Well, she types, report, and send email every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Vale, hoy voy con vos, Mayra. ¿Y quién Dale, soy Sonia. yo? Sonia, Sonia, empezar con Sonia. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she takes, reports, and sends emails every day. She is a Hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is a field in the office. Ahora yo soy Sonia, porque vamos a sacar la plataforma. What does Dominic do? Espérese, y yo soy, y yo soy Matt. Ay, otra vez la burra del trigo. Absolutely. El otro es hard working. Yeah? Hard work working. Hard working. Hard eso working. se pronuncia un poquito, o sea, más o menos como se escribe. Sí, eso sí Ajá. se pronuncia más o menos. Pero hay unos que bien diferente. Sí. Uh -huh. Vamos en Sonia, soy yo creo. <laughs> What does Dominic do? Well, she is a Oh, I see. What does she do every 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 day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person that arrives in the office. Teníamos dudas en algunas pronunciaciones. Okay, um, but now it's now clear. Eh, está claro um, absolutely yes absolutely 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 yes exactly as you said absolutely that's the word very difficult for me <laughs> but you said absolutely. it good but you said it pretty good but you said it pretty good lo ha dicho bien absolutely Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. That's... Ah, el teníamos duda en tapes. Arrive. Tapes. Ar arrive. El y la tapes. otra es. Eh, ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Tapes. Uh... Eh, cuatro. Tapes. En más tapes. Tapes report. Ah, 
types types report types 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 oh types 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 <laughs> yeah types reports types. Types reports. Types reports. Type reports and send. Types reports. Yes, mm -hmm. and send emails. And en este caso, ella and digita email. reportes. She types reports. Digita reportes. Typing. Types. 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 Ah, right. uh, and first. First. Uh, first. Finish. First. 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 Yes. First. 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 Okay. Yes. First. Okay. First. Exactly. Uh huh. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. We will go back to the. We will go back to the groups. We will go back and well, let's let's see, and we're going to practice together. Okay, guys, uh, well, so we go back to the groups and we're going to uh, socialize today the conversations. Uh, congratulations, because you did a great job. As I, I actually was checking the pronunciation. And now this is the time to see what you have done. I will need two volunteers. One volunteer will become Sonia and one volunteer will be math. So I won't choose, I will do me, it me. democratically. Eli? Me. Okay. Yes. And who else wants to practice the conversation with Eli? Someone else? Me? My friends? Yes. Who said me? Me? A lady said me. I don't know who said. Wendy. Oh, Wendy. Okay. Wendy. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. That's awesome. So uh, you can start the conversation. Okay. Yes. yes. Sonia, señora. Yeah. Or you can change the role. So it is up to you. What? What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. She tape, report, and sends emails every day. She is a working, hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is a first person to arrive in the office. Change. To, to arrive, to arrive in the office. Okay, that's okay. Thank you so much. Okay, two volunteers. Uh, I need two other volunteers because you have been practicing. And what I like about this group is, is that you have a different change in the accent. 
pudimos ver que el acento les cambió un poquito. Ya les voy a explicar por qué. Ok, um, who's next? ¿Quién es, quién es, ¿Quiénes serían los siguientes? Sí. Ok. Sí. Diga su nombre, porque solo dice mi y yo. Guillermo en Zaira. Okay. Zaira, Zaira. Zaira, yes, yes, Zaira. Ok, um, ok. Who wants to be the first one? ¿Quién va a ser el primero? Sí. Ok. Sure. What does, what does Dominic, what does Dominic do? Where? She is a uh, everyday. Secretary. Oh, perdón, perdón, perdón. Where? She is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Will she tape, report, and send email every day? She is a, a hand-working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the... Excellent. Thank you so much. Yes, congratulations, guys. There's only one word that would say types. Types. That would be... And then everything in the conversation is perfect. So we use types. It is a great conversation, guys. Okay, now we uh, interpret. Do you have any equations about the vocabulary that you can see in the conversation? Eh, no sé si hay alguna palabra que ustedes quisieran, eh, I don't know, like uh, focus or everything is clear. Teacher. Yes, gentlemen. Yeah. Eh, ¿Cuál es la pronunciación de, bueno, cómo sería pronunciar woman? Es woman, woman, y he escuchado, bueno, no sé si fue malo que escuché, pero en algún momento escuché también women. ¿Cuál sería específicamente la pronunciación? Ok, easy, easy. Uh, look at the chat. Eh, ¿Dónde está el chat aquí? <laughs> Sorry, the, que... oh my God, so I will check that, right? Ah, I know, I know, what's the problem? Okay, so as we know, eh, hay dos pronunciaciones. La primera es woman, es woman. Vamos a ver, está woman y usted la escribe con A porque es singular. Una persona. Pero si fueran mujeres, sería women. Women. So, está woman y está women. Si usted dice woman, es singular. Si usted dice women, es plural. Igual, man, men. Eh, en el caso igual, man, men. Igual también en el mismo caso de masculine. En este caso se le llama plurales irregulares. ¿Por qué es un plural irregular? Porque no se le agrega ese, como por ejemplo, cars schools, sino que este es un, un <coughs> es un plural que, que la estructura es diferente a agregarle una S. Entonces es, es a irregular plural. Women, men, man, man, men. So that's the word. Great questions. That was a great questions. Ok, eh, congratulations. Me gusta, algo me, muy interesante que me gustó de algunos es que ya le empiezan a dar el acento bien bonito, ¿verdad? El acento sí ya bien americano. Si yo me sentí que ya estaba hablando ya con niños. Hasta había perdido que estábamos hablando español. Ya, so that's the call about it. Oh, yes. Y no es lo mismo decir, vaya, imagínense que vengo yo y les leo así. <coughs> Prepárense. No me van a asustar. Ah, mentira. Ok, you say, for example, um, what does eh, Dominique do? Eh, well, she is a secretary. She's a, eh, I see what does she do every day. Ustedes escuchan, hey, qué chivo, ¿verdad? ¿Y a qué horas termina la clase? No, ¿verdad? es lo mismo que usted venga y le cambie el acento, right? Y usted ya, ¿verdad? Y está fresca y dice, ok, what does Dominic do? Entonces cambió ya de repente decir, eh, what does 
Dominic do. Entonces todo depende del cambio de acento que nosotros le demos. Por eso cuando un americano viene, usted escucha que el acento es totalmente diferente porque ellos tienen un, un acento distinto. Lo que hacemos nosotros es adaptar el acento. The pronunciation la tenemos. Yo sé que ahí se pronuncia Dominic. You say Dominic, so yo lo pronuncio, pero el acento es el que hace la diferencia. O, o lo pronuncio como, esto, como que estoy en español o lo pronuncio como que estoy en inglés. That's the point. Por eso es que yo no podía leerles like, uh, what does Domini do? She, well, she is a secretary. No. What does Domini do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly. Oh, I should point it. Well, she types reports and send emails every day. Entonces, el acento cambia, right? Pero todo, ¿cómo podemos hacer ese cambio de acento? It's about the practice. So we just listen real English and you change the tone of voice. It's going to sound like a little different. Entonces, todo depende del acento. ¿Cómo usted le va a dar el acento? Por eso cuando usted viene y escucha personas que son de otro país, americanos, por ejemplo, y usted escucha que vienen hablando español, ¿cómo escuchan el acento? Um, oh, oh, yo vi, visitar El Salvador. Oh, es bonito. Y usted dice, ah, qué chido. Eh. So that's the point. That's actually the accent, right? They, they don't have to actually that the accent. Y justamente hace poco, hace como, bueno, Hace como dos días estaba poniendo a prueba una americana y le dije yo que dijera que hoy era un día bonito y decía bonito. Y yo, no, es bonito, no, bonito, no, es bonito. Y ahí, ahí le estaba enseñando español yo. Pero eh, podemos sí, ver, sí. hola. Ahorita que dice eso, disculpe que lo interrumpa. Este programa de inglés y los otros programas que tiene Instafor solo aplican para personas salvadoreñas. O también personas que estén en el extranjero. Eh, como es para inglés para el trabajo aquí en el país, entonces para las empresas salvadoreñas. Ah, más acá. Ah, okay. yeah. Yo tengo una pregunta referente, bueno, algo a eso. ¿Cuántos módulos son, teacher? Me ha puesto en jaque. <ríe> Me ha puesto en jaque. Hay, hay, varios, hay varios niveles, porque no. está hasta... Hola. Tengo entendido que son seis por cada nivel. Por Entonces cada nivel. Son como 18. Ajá, parece sí, que sí, como 20, creo. Más. No sé si creo que son 20. O, o, o más, más, quizás. Pero... Son como 20. Ah, bueno. Sí. Ah, 20. Porque eh, eso incluye el nivel básico, el nivel intermedio, el avanzado, y creo que la preparación también del TOIC. Hay una, hay una preparación. Entonces, ah. hay, una, hay una formación adicional. Eh, pero eh, yo voy a averiguarle, ¿verdad? Para ver qué niveles son, porque si sí, yo también me eh, tengo que revisar por ahí. ¿Del TOEIC o del TOEFL? Eh, creo que es el TOEIC. TOEIC. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, buena pregunta, porque ustedes tienen que ir a esos niveles, no solo se tienen que quedar ahí en básico, sino que ustedes van. Dice, las dice nubes. sobre eso, una pregunta. Ajá. Aparte del TOEIC, se puede incluir en preparación porque está viendo que supuestamente influye, pero no sé qué tan cierto sea el hecho de que podemos llegar hasta, hasta la preparación todo Es que a, a, cuando usted termina el nivel avanzado eh, en la educación inglés internacional, después del nivel avanzado, alguien puede optar para la preparación del TOEIC y para hacer la prueba del TOEIC. Eh, los dos exámenes en el país que se utilizan más son el TOEIC y el TOEFL. El TOEIC es el Test of English for International Communications, eh, que es el examen inglés para eh, comunicaciones internacionales. So it's like a general. Bueno, primero, gente, Dios, okay. terminemos el primer. <ríe> el segundo primero, módulo. Yeah. Eh, sí, eh, <ríe> terminemos el segundo módulo, jóvenes. <ríe> Ok, muy bien, sí. me gusta, me gusta, me gusta, porque ahí vamos a El Mauricio se ríe, Mauricio, te estoy no. viendo. Qué rápido nos bajaron de la nube. No, Ey, qué barbaridad usted. No, hombre, ya ven. Subimos, sí, compañeros. Que el... Hay que tener fe, hay que tener fe. Subimos, compañeros. <risa> Ustedes quitarle trabajo al teacher, quieren. Yeah. Hay para todos, hay para todos. Hay para todos. <risa> Muy bien, okay. chicos. Vamos con la siguiente. Let's go with the next part because we need to advance with the following content. It says, um, look at this. Uh, 
to figure it out to select the correct form of the verbs to complete the sentences. Number one, she type or she types report. Do or does she arrive late? Does she arrive or does she arrives early? What do you think, guys? Number one, type. The number one, she type or she types? She types. Type. 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 Okay, but if you say that, I would like to ask you, why we use types, por qué types in no type? Eso, ya ven, ya ven. Esos son los frutos. That's awesome. That's correct. So we actually, we are, I mean, demanded. We are demanded to use this structure. Why? Because we are talking, we're talking exclusively uh, about types. She types. Porque es tercera persona. She types. Es como la regla que vimos. ¿Se recuerdan? She types reports. Number two. Do... Or does she arrive late? Does, does, does she arrive late? Does she arrive late? Does she arrive late? Okay. You got it. That's okay. We use, we use does, right? Entonces usamos does. And number does. three. Does she arrive or... Does she arrives early? Arrive. Does she arrive? Does she arrive? Arrive. Early. arrive. Porque arrive. Ella lleva das. Arrive. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería yes. este. Me dicen ustedes, sería este? Arrive. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay, that's correct. Exactly, guys. Porque ya está el auxiliar, porque ya está el auxiliar allá plural al principio. Exactamente. Y hoy vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso acerca de esa estructura. We're going to have a short review about this structure. So, uh, this is the simple present. That's why we're going to use the time expression. So, this is actually part of the process. And vamos a la siguiente. Para eso tenemos un audio que no lo podemos, we can't, we can listen here ex, ex directly. No lo podemos leer acá directamente, pero yo se los he mandado en este momento al grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces, necesito que lo puedan ver. So, I want you to see it. Carlitos, vení, solo voy a mandarme un so, archivo que me acaban de mandar. I want you to a... help me to, to check it, please. Por favor, necesito que, lo, que puedan entrar en este momento al link y lo escuchen. Y luego voy a preguntarles lo siguiente. I will ask you the following questions. Describe what routines you could hear. Describe qué rutinas usted pudo escuchar. You could hear. So, and uh, eso es lo que va a hacer. Así que vamos a entrar en este momento. Ok. Ok, describe what routines you could hear. ¿Qué rutinas usted pudo escuchar? Entonces, eh, entramos y lo vamos a poder leer. Eh, este archivo que les he mandado, usted lo va a poder escuchar y lo va a poder leer. Así que dura 2 minutos 43. Así que nos vamos a tomar ese tiempo para poder escuchar. Let's go.
Ok, almost ready, eh, almost ready, casi listos o todavía no. Uh, por ahí creo que se escucha una distorsión. Mauricio Rivera. Mauricio, Mauricio Rivera. Rivera, ¿se encuentra por ahí? ¿Se encuentra por ahí? Ahorita, teacher, ahorita. Ok, ok, ok. Sí. okay. Okay, guys. And uh, you are you ready? Están listos? Eh, ya escucharon la conversation? Yeah. Okay, so I would like to ask you, uh, that was that was clear to you to understand all the information that they were saying? Eh, ¿Les quedó clara la información? ¿O comprendieron la mayoría de cosas in the conversation? ¿O poquito? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sintieron? How do you feel about it? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Hello. In my case, I understand 80%, 80%. 80%. All right. So it's high. It's okay. It's a great number. Okay, and what about the rest? Was clear for you guys this conversation? Fue para ustedes bastante comprensible, me dicen, please. Yeah, he speaks slowly, 
lento. Slow, okay. Slow. Speaks slow, all right. The, the different vocabulary and the routine, flying, and, and different moments. Okay. That's okay. That's that's important. All right. That's important. Well, you I would like to say that, that he have a regular routine. An irregular routines. Okay, that's what I want you to go. Quiero que me comenten eh, brevemente qué rutinas eh, do you remember? What routines do you remember about this activity? Yes, qué rutinas ustedes recuerdan? Watch the movie, Toy Story. Okay. Here at that... uh, six o'clock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He he get up at uh, six six o'clock. Uh, arrive uh, to work. Um, Arrives to work. Arrive arrive in bus or or train. Or train. By train. He dinner her her ma. July to wife. Her wife. Mm -hmm. Wife. Okay. He prepare. He prepares. Corn. Corn. Prepare chocolate. Prepares. Cereal. 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 Okay. For the for the song. All right. Okay. The boy say that every weekend, usually in uh, about eight half or nine o'clock, eat cereal, uh, chocolate, rice crispy with the sun, and he uh, he sees the every uh, the Toy Story every week. Say every week. Uh, dijo say that his song love boss and Woody. Okay. All right, that's okay, guys, and thank you because there was like, well, he talks about different things, and also she asked different questions about what he usually does. So that's why he have different answers, but most of them that you have already said were correct. So that's why, because we're going to be working in the listening exercise. And this is gonna be great because we're gonna be adapted into the listening part. And that's why it's recommendable to practice listening all the time. Puede volver a escuchar otra vez el audio. Eh, también lo puede practicar, revisar el vocabulario. This is good because these guys can speak slow and makes this conversation understandable. That is one of the advantages about it. Así que vamos a continuar. Eh, vamos a pasar la asistencia at the second time. Just allow me one moment, please. And uh, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present, teacher. I'm sorry, sorry. Since the very beginning, Ana Cecilia, she's not. Eh, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Eh, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Um, Brian Javier Carmona. Present. Christian Ernesto Lazo. Present. Christian, okay, Christian. Eh, David Present. Orlando Alvarez. Present. Eh, Eliad Zael. Present. Guillermo Antonio García. Present. José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Eh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Eh, Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. He's not. Eh, Mauricio Enrique García. Mauricio Enrique García Olmedo. It's not. Eh, Mauricio Ernesto Gutierrez. Mauricio Ernesto Gutierrez. 
Mayra Veraliz Moreno. Present. Eh, Omar Present. Francisco. Okay, Omar Francisco. Present. Okay. Present. All right. Eh, Zaira Marleni. Present. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present. Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. Y Loida Abigail, that she's not here. Okay. Teacher. Yes. He's here. Hello. Mauricio Rivera is here. Mauricio. Mm. One second. Yo no escucho, teacher. Uh, let me check. Mauricio Rivera Santos. Sí, tiene problemas, dice. Ah. Uh... Señas. My God. De cam Camisa Maria. Rivera Santos. Yes, I saw him. I saw him. Okay, tiene problemas con el microphone. But he can listen to us. Pero si nos escucha él. But he can listen yeah. to us. Yes. Sí, está con el audífono que le dijo. Hola. We see. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so because we're thinking about, I mean, you are not here, so that's okay. Well, and let's continue with the next part of the class because, you know, the time goes very fast. And also we have the use of the, uh, the simple present for, you can appreciate here the examples, simple present for third person. Look at this one. We used a uh, for third person singular, Names like he, she, it, and singulars name like Jose, Wendy, Eli, Samuel, Mayra, Karen, eh, Mauricio. So we have singular names, and we're going to use eh, this one. He or uh, the name of it. He checks. Dominic goes. It likes. Entonces, como sabemos que la regla nos dice de que cuando es tercera persona al verbo se le tiene que agregar S, ES o IES, dependiendo del verbo, ¿verdad? Como sabíamos que es la regla del presente simple eh, que nosotros estudiamos eh, en el módulo anterior. Luego teníamos The Simple Present. Eh, the Simple Present, acá. Ok, this. The Simple Present. Look at this. And they, my co-workers, the employees, the bosses, the employees, etc. They go, they check, they like. Cuando eh, los pronombres son plurales, el verbo va en su forma natural, en su forma infinitiva. Es decir, que al verbo no se le tiene que agregar nada, ni para la primera ni la segunda persona. Entonces... Estamos bien claros que en, este, en esta estructura las terceras personas se les va a agregar S, I, S, O, S y los plurales simplemente en su forma normal. Ahora vamos con el simple present, yes, no questions for third person, singular and plural. Cuando yo quiero hacer una pregunta para tercera persona, eh, nosotros ocupamos does, does he play soccer? Does she study English? Does he work in the project? For example, let me ask some questions. Eh, eh, Jose Arnoldo? Eh, Jose Arnoldo? Eh, I have a question to you, Jose. Uh, Does he check report? Okay, uh, Jose, I have a question for you. Uh, Does Eli Atzael work in your company? Does Eli Atzael work in your company? Yes, he do. Yes, he? He does. Yes, yes he, he does. Company. Does. 
Yes, he does. Yes, okay. he does. Okay, let me see. And Karen? Karen? Yes, hi. Uh, Karen, does Saida Marleni work in your company? No, she does. No, she doesn't. Doesn't, perdón, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. No, she doesn't. Okay, doesn't. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Jenny Suleima, does... Anna Lillian study English? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. All right, excellent. Mauricio Rivera, does uh, Brenda Beatriz speak English? A little. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> That's okay, don't worry. Okay. Eh, Brian uh, Javier, Brian Javier, eh, do you work? Yes. Brian Javier, do you work? Yes, I am. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do. Okay, Omar Francisco, do you live in El Salvador? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Eh, Guillermo Antonio Garcia, does Mayra Vera Liz lives in Mexico? Guillermo Antonio Garcia, does Mayra Vera Liz lives, live in Mexico? Eh, no, no. No, she? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't because she lives in El Salvador. Yeah? Yeah, that, that's what yeah. I know. <laughs> that's what I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Uh, Mauricio Rivera. Mauricio Rivera, does Jose Rodrigo practice English, English in class? Uh, I don't listen, Mauricio. Maybe the microphone is getting some trouble. Hello, see. Yes, yes. Uh, Mauricio, Mauricio Rivera, does Jose Rodrigo speak, practice in, in the class? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. All right, thank you. Jose Rodrigo? Do you practice basketball? Jose Rodrigo, do you practice basketball? Yes, I do. Yes, you do, right? That's okay. So he, that's what he does, right? That's great. So we use the simple present, just no equations for third singular and plural form. Most of you have answered appropriate equations. So does he check the reports? Does, uh, do you check the report? Do we check the report? Do they check the report? How to use simple present for two things? But I... Uh, ¿Cómo usamos nosotros el presente continuo? ¿Quién me dice? El presente simple. ¿Para qué cosas usamos el simple present? The word. Ajá. The... ¿Para qué lo usamos? ¿Ah? Daily routines. Daily routines. Daily routines, yes, daily routines. ¿Y qué más? What else? Uh, pues, things, o sea, cosas que siente. <laughs> activities. Uh, activities, activities in the present, schedules, okay. schedule events, events. schedule events and timetable. So those are the things that are very important to focus and also highlight. Uh, that's why we're going to work on this. Correcto, correcto. Así que estamos muy bien ahí. Okay, so we're talking about these two activities, um, daily activities and schedule events, right? Let's go with the next one. 
let's continue guys next page we have some examples in the next uh, slide you can appreciate here in the slide some statements and i want you to focus about the verbs and also in i will ask some questions just to have a backup about the rules that we studied in the previous class so for this uh, we go with this one second Let me go ahead and check this right now. Uh, it says, my son lives in London. So focus on the pronunciation. My son lives in London. She plays basketball. She plays basketball. She catches the train every morning. She catches the train every morning. Michael doesn't work. Michael doesn't work. My father doesn't speak good English. He goes to football every day. He goes to football every day. He loves to play basketball. He goes to a school. Does he go to school? She writes an email to her best friend. He thinks he's very hands-on. It usually rains every day here. It smells very delicious in the kitchen. We generally sing songs all together and we go to a gallery every Sunday. So you can see here some statements that are examples of the simple present tense. For this, I would like you to help me if there is a new word for you or something that you don't remember about the structures. ¿Tienen alguna duda o alguna pregunta sobre la estructura? Teacher. Yes. Más que todo una pronunciación. Puede pronunciar nuevamente la cuarta oración. Al final la escuché que dijo words, no words. Work. Doesn't work. Michael doesn't, Michael doesn't work. work. Yes, Michael no, doesn't no work. No, it's work. Yeah, it's, it's, it's work. But no son road, like work. Michael doesn't work. It's like soft. Uh, okay. I, I have another question. Yeah? In the number six, he goes to football every day. Uh-huh. El ball football. Yeah, it doesn't specify that he goes to play, sino que maybe the context is like he goes to, pueda que haber el fútbol o algo, simplemente he goes uh, to football every day. Okay. Yeah. Okay, any other question you have? Nothing, Spike. It's actually clear, right? Hear. It's I clear. Can't hear you. It's clear. Okay, it's let's clear. go with the following activity. Yes, hello? No, no, es que... <laughs> okay. La estructura de la de la 14, ¿cómo sería la traducción? We generally sing songs all together. En este caso, eh, usamos generally, que significa generalmente. Entonces, este es como una, es un adverbio. Entonces, usamos el adverbio generally. Nosotros generalmente vamos a las, eh, generalmente cantamos canciones juntos. Eh, sing songs. Cantamos canciones. All together significa juntos. All together. All together. 
altogether. And thanks for asking because it's, it's really important um, to see some statements that perhaps for us is like uh, um, not so common. Entonces, eh, muy bien. ¿Alguna otra pregunta que tengan? And Michael doesn't work. Es eh, como decir, Michael no trabaja, ¿verdad? Exactly. Y se puede decir también, Michael no work. No. No, it's not possible. So this is the structure in the simple present tense. If the sentence is, is the sentence is in the simple present tense, so that means that in, you have to use the simple present tense. People can say no work, but okay. this is very informal. Cuando no usamos el don o el doesn't en una oración en presente simple, eh, significa que es una oración informal, súper informal. Ok, thank you. Ok. Ok. All right, let's go with this. Yes. Is, is that on my note? Is what? Is, is that on my note? Is that in the manual? Yes. Uh, the structure is in the manual. Those statements are specifically for the presentation. But this structure, everything that we have studied here is in the manual. Yes. Everything that you can see here is, is in the manual. Yes. Okay. For now, what I want you to do, guys, is to work in the following exercise. It says and that we had to um, use the following statements. Call, have, check, wake up, work, go. Teacher, not not copy all. Oh, this one. Uh, me faltó copiar todo. <laughs> eh, pero es usted en la presentación. Está usted en el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí. Yes, ahí está en la presentación. Le subí la presentación. Entonces ustedes, oh, okay. ustedes lo tienen ahí. You have it. So, sí, by any sí, chance, sí, sí. ya. Yeah. La puedes hacer. Oh, okay. Thank you. Porque yo no la tengo. Sí. Por Finish. Igual. Ok. Por favor, teacher, este, que yo hace poco entré también y no la tengo. No sé si la puede reenviar. Ah, vaya, permítame. Just give me one second. Yeah, I can do it. I will try it again. I know that uh, some students have have gotten some problems with the with the internet connection, so that is comprehensive, guys. Pues sí, veo que hay varios que sí están teniendo problemas con la situación del internet, entonces, bueno, eso es bastante comprensible, la verdad, pero bueno, hay que echarle gana. No, ya. Yes. No, sí All right, that's okay, that's okay. Bien, eh, hoy si ya la tienen, pueden revisarla. Can you check? The presentation uh, by any chance you have some difficulties at the beginning just give me one second Gracias. Okay, so everybody have it there. All right, let's go with this. Vamos con la eh, siguiente parte, the next part. We have different verbs. We have call, have, check, wake up, work, and go. And this is life for three. So what we had to do 
it's very simple. So what we had to do, guys, is we're going to have the opportunity to complete the statements using the appropriate verb. So for this, we're going to um, socialize this activity. Para eso vamos a, por, vamos a eh, to complete this exercise, right? Así que we have some minutes. I will give you eh, five minutes to complete this part. And then we're going to socialize the answers. So we can start now. For those who have done this before, that's okay. And for those who haven't, eh, this is actually the time to work. So you have to select the best verb eh, to complete the statement. Así que iniciamos. Look at this. Okay, so this is a paragraph. From Monday to Friday, uh, Dominic. So what, at 5 a.m. And also when she gets there. Wake up. Okay, so work on that, work on that, guys. Finish. Finish. All right. So let's check the answer together. Finish. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. So according to this information, I will have the opportunity to, well, to check here. Just one second. Okay. From Monday to Friday, Dominic. Wake up. Wake, wake up. up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Uh -huh. Okay, Wake so it's Wake. because we are talking about the third person. So the third person is Dominic. As we know the rule, as was mentioned, we're talking about the third person. So wakes up at 5 a.m. And also she... Goes. She goes. She goes. Uh, I'm going to use I'm going to use a capital letter to to highlight the word, guys. Uh, I know that grammatically is not the point, but I just need to highlight the statement. So uh, she goes to work, and when she gets there, checks. 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 That's a, that's the pronunciation. Checks. Checks. That's Checks. okay. That's that's right. That's the word. So okay. It checks her email and call. 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 Oh. Call. Calls. 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 In this case, it's only call. Uh, her email and call with all the clients. Oh. Yeah? Yes. All the clients in her daily list. Eh, ¿Por qué no le agregamos acá ese? Porque el verbo principal es checks. Entonces... 
eh, la tercera persona recae acá, entonces, bueno, she checks her email okay. and call all the clients, por el que ya el segundo verbo ya es un poquito más general y en el primero que se hace la conjugación directa, entonces le agregamos la S. Um, and call all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work works no work works. work work Work, because we're talking about plural. Como work. es plural. Work. Ajá, yes. como es plural, usamos work, ¿ya? Yeah? Y eh, work with Dominic. Y luego dicen they. Go. 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 They go. go. They go to? Have. Have. They go, they go to have lunch. Yeah, I have my lunch. They go to the lunch. They go. To have lunch. To the hell, hell lunch. Have together. Have, have to lunch. Have, have lunch. To have, have lunch. lunch. Together. They go to the hell lunch together. At 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. Yeah. Dominic. Goes. Goes. Uh, goes home, right? Goes home. Goes home, yes. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Se puede decir en esta última oración, Dominic goes back home. No. O solo con goes está bien. Eh, si en este caso Dominic va a casa, pero si yo, si yo ocupo, por ejemplo, go back o back, eh, goes back, es que él regresa a casa. Podemos utilizarlo en el contexto. So we can use it. Para hacer la referencia que él después de todo regresa a casa. Pero también puedo decir he goes home. Uh, cuando usted está en una, en una reunión y dice, you know, time is up. I have to go home. Entonces, eh, tiene, no tiene necesariamente que decir, I have to go back home. So I just, I go home. Voy a casa. Thank you. Yes. And also you, keep, you can give a reference. All right. Muy bien. Vamos a practicar. Sí, sure. Yeah, hello. Cuando, cuando... Y cuando yeah. uno dice, está en una casa y dice, I gotta go, I gotta go. Me tengo que ir, eh, I gotta go home. Eh, I gotta go es como me tengo que ir, I, 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 have, I gotta go. O es como decir, I have uh -huh, to go, uh -huh, uh -huh. I have to go. Es, es una, I have to go. Es, es muy informal, es una expresión que se ocupa. Eh, muy informal, muy es informal. informal. Entonces, Which is, you know, you say, you know, I, I have to go. I got to go. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, vamos a practicar eh, la pronunciación. Así que primero quiero que lo escuchen y luego ustedes lo van a pronunciar. So you're going to practice. Um, from Monday to Friday, Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets there, she checks her email and call all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. Let's try again. Let's try it again. Listen carefully again. From Monday to Friday, Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work, and when she gets there, she checks her email and calls all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes to home ok try it again try it again eh, ahora ustedes repiten después de mí so you repeat after me every statement eh, from Monday to Friday Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. Okay, second sentence. She goes to work 
And when she gets there, she checks her email and call all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together. They go to have lunch together. At 4 p.m., Dominic goes home. At 4 p.m., Dominic goes home. Okay, guys, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, I need a volunteer for helping me to read the conversation. Oh, this information. This is a short paragraph. Okay. She's a short paragraph. Yes. Okay. Yes. You ready? Uh, yeah, of course. Go ahead. You can. Okay, okay, okay. From Monday or Friday, Dominic wakes up at 5 p.m. goes to work and when she gets there, she checks Harry May and Call out decline in the daily list. Lisa in Clown, Claudia work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. Okay, and they go to have, they go to have lunch. Have lunch. Okay, excellent. Congratulations. That was a great a great reading. Okay, uh next, who's next? Who wants to help us to read? Yes. Me. Okay, go ahead. From Monday to Friday, Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets there, she sends her email and calls the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic got home. Excellent, that was very fluent. That was very fluent and also the information is great. Okay, next volunteer. El siguiente, vamos a ver, algunos hemos, los hemos visto bien calladitos. Eh, por ahí algunos... María Vera Liz dice, está levantando la mano María Vera Liz. Me? Okay, yeah. Just do it, just do it. Por ahí algunos nombres que yo no los he escuchado hablar, no sé. From Monday to Friday, Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets there, she check, checks her email and call all the client in her daily list. Liz and Claudia works with Dominic. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. All right, that's okay. That's, that's very valuable. Okay, I need to listen to somebody else. Another volunteer. Teacher, I'm ready. I, I'm going to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, uh... Okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, Karen, right? Karen. Karen. Oh, okay. <laughs> From Monday to Friday, Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets there, she checks her email and calls all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic they got to have lunch together 
at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. Excellent. That's perfect. That was very fluent, very fluent, natural, no pressure. So we go step by step in the process. So that's very good. Uh, another volunteer, another volunteer. Morello. Okay, who's going to do it? Uh, next. Mire cómo expande la madera, teacher. <laughs> okay, uh, a ver quién más por ahí o, o selecciono yo. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Dale, teacher. Vale, voy a seleccionar aquí a las siguientes víctimas. Hi, per teacher. Perdón, participantes. Okay, Jenny. Right? Jenny, 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 Jenny. Jenny, Jenny. From right. Monday? Yeah. Yes. From Monday yes. to Friday. Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets there, she checks her email and calls all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work with, they go to, ha to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. Excellent. Excellent. Congratulations. That was a great, great uh, reading. Okay, that's what we want to work in that one. That was a great pronunciation. Okay, I have someone that I need to ask. Let me see. I was looking for somebody here. Uh, let me see. Uh, one second, one second. Okay, Jose Rodrigo, Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. I don't see him. I just see like... Uh, Curtains, but uh, the curtains. Okay. Uh, Jose Rodrigo. Yes, teacher. Yes, help us to read, please, the, the following paragraph. Okay. From Monday to Friday, Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets to check her email and call on the client in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together. At 4 p.m., Dominic goes home. Excellent. Congratulations. That was a great, a great talk. Okay, I will choose the last person because we need to finish. Uh, and we need to conclude the class. So I'm looking for uh, Mauricio Ernesto. Mauricio Ernesto. I don't know if he's there. Mauricio, Mauricio, Ernesto. No, he's not available. Uh, Mauricio, Ernesto, no, no, no da señales. Entonces, uh, Christian, Ernesto. Christian, Ernesto, you go next. Yes, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. From Monday to Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets there, she checks her email and call all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominique. They go to have lunch at 4 p.m., Dominic goes home. Okay, that's very valuable. Thank you so much, guys. We're going to pass the attendance list. I really appreciate it. Uh, all of us, we, we deserve a beautiful applause because we have been working hard during the two hours. And actually, this is good, right? Así que, that's awesome to everybody. Todos se merecen ahí un aplauso, ¿verdad? Porque es un esfuerzo. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. Así que, eh, after this one, we are dismissed. Eh, hoy tenemos también eh, Ana, Ana Lilian Reyes. Se va a quedar este día para uh, to talk, right? At the end of the class. Eh, Chris, eh, vamos a ver, since the very beginning. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to go fast. Ana Cecilia Martinez. No, she's not. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Eh, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. 
Eh, Brian Javier Carmona. Present. Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Present. Eh, David Orlando Álvarez. Present. Eh, Eliat Sael Matut. Present. Guillermo Antonio García. Present. Eh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. Eh, José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Eh, Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Eh, Mauricio Enrique García. Eh, no está Mauricio Enrique. Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Mayra Veraliz Moreno. Present. O ok, Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Eh, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Wendy eh, Maribel Zabaleta. Present. Y Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. Ok, thank you so much. Ok, guys, thank you so much for being here in the class. Have a beautiful night and rest a lot and see you tomorrow, ok? Enjoy your night. Thanks for this effort. All right? See you, see you guys. See you tomorrow. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, I see you. Bye. Y me see quedo you. con Bye. Ana Lilian. Ana Lilian. See you. Okay, Bye. everybody. Good night. Bye. Good night. See you. See you. Hello, Ana Lilian. Hello, Ana Lilian. teacher. How are you? Vamos a ver, vamos a trabajar, vamos a trabajar un poquito de pronunciation. Vamos a trabajar un poquito de pronunciation. Eh, bueno, ¿qué expectativas? ¿Cómo se ha sentido ya en su segunda clase? Esta es su segunda clase ya de este módulo. This is the second class. How do you feel? Pues me siento excelente porque sí estoy aprendiendo. Eh, me cuesta un poco, pero... Siento que estoy avanzando, estoy aprendiendo. Y no, hay ciertas cosas que ahora las puedo pronunciar, antes no. Y me da ahora como que menos penita hablar o, o temor a que me pueda equivocar. Entonces, puedo decir que estoy excelente y con la mejor disposición de aprender y de llegar hasta el último nivel, si Dios así lo quiere. Ok, that's, that's important. Y eso es importante. Creo que eh, ese es como lo, lo, lo más valioso, right? Eh, el espacio de tener esa oportunidad de poder avanzar bastante. Y me gusta su, su punto de vista, esa perspectiva que usted tiene de poder avanzar en los contenidos. That's what we want. We need students who work so hard, who focus in winning, who focus in doing the best. Entonces, eh, muy bien. Me alegra muchísimo que tenga esa esa perspectiva y si vemos que va aprendiendo we, we work in the process and don't worry maybe you are like um, like this like you know what I mean I'm learning eh, estamos empezando este es el módulo 2 uh, falta todavía un camino en el cual estoy aprendiendo diferentes estructuras different structures grammar things that are going to be better for you so it's not a time to panic eh, para decir no que voy a hacer no sino que vamos Vamos bien. Entonces, eh, es importante sí. que lo tomemos en cuenta. Así que... Sí, pues eh, igual, sí. Sí. Ok, vamos a practicar sí, algunas... Si hubiera sentido que nomás no era lo mío, me salgo. Pero aquí estoy, eso significa que todavía tengo madera. <ríe> claro que sí. Está joven, tiene un gran potencial usted. Así que de eso no hay duda. There is not a doubt about it. So you're the best. Quiero que me lea las oraciones del número uno al cinco. Vamos a, we're going to make it big. Okay. Vamos a ver acá, eh, acá, del uno al cinco. Ok. My son Lee. 
in in Lom in London. She plays basketball. 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 Yes. Oh, se pronuncia. Okay. He he captures the the train morning. Michael dance work. Doesn't my father doesn't. doesn't. Michael doesn't work. My father does doesn't speak speak good good English. Ajá. En este caso, eh, si usted se fija, vamos a ver, quiero ver si lo puedo hacer más acá. Ahí está. Eh, ahí está, mire. Eh, en este caso, como el nombre es Michael, en ese sería Michael doesn't speak, doesn't speak English. She plays basketball and catches the train every morning. Eh, lo pronuncié muy bien, entonces... Vamos con las siguientes. Eh, vamos a ir ahí eh, porque era una de las áreas que usted eh, recuerdo que me dijo que quería mejorar bastante un poquito en la pronunciación. Así que vamos, vamos sí. de la 6 a la. Vamos a ver. We're going to use a color. From 6 to 11. Okay. Yes, 6 to 11. He goes to football every day. He hobbies to play basketball. He he goes to school. 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 That's school. Estos que siempre se me olvida. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. He goes to school. Uh huh. Does, does he go, he go to a school? She, she, ay, ¿cómo sería? Writes, she writes. Right. She, she writes an email to her best, best friend. Best friend. He, to her best friend best friend yes she she read an email to her best friend Así, ¿verdad? Eh, she right okay repita conmigo she writes an email she, to her she best writes friend an email to her read to her email. diga conmigo her <laughs> Her. Best friend. Her best friend. Her best friend. Her le... best friend. Ajá, ahora léame toda la oración. Right. She right. Writes. And she writes an email to her. Her. Best friend. Her best Her. friend. She write, she write an email to her best friend. Excellent, excellent. Una vez más, lo hizo muy bien. Decimos, she writes an email to her best friend. Una vez más. She writes an email. She writes an email to her best friend. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exactly. She writes, she writes an email to her best friend. So that is the rule. Good. Vamos con la siguiente de la 12 a la 15. So I'm going to uh, erase this. Uh, okay. De la 12 from 12. <laughs> ah, yes, 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 yes. Eh, acá. Sí. Okay. Okay. 
Yes. He thinks. Ahí está. Yes, he thinks. Oh, Muy fine. bien. He thinks. He yes. thinks. He thinks. He is very handsome. Ajá. Uh handsome. -huh. Ok. En la once es handsome o handsome. 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 Yes. Okay, he thinks he is very handsome. 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 Mm -hmm. It. Handsome. It was why. Usually. Every day here. Usually. Uh, usually. Usually. It. It usually. It usually. Usual. It, it usually right every day here. Uh -huh. It it smells very delicious. It smells. It smells. In the smell. It smell. Yes. It smells delicious in the the kitchen. 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 In the kitchen, uh huh. Yes. Uh, we generally sing Simpson all together. All together. All together. Together. All together. Okay. Yes. We generally we sing Simpson. All together. Together. Two. And we go to. Together. Together. Yes. Together. All together. Yes. We, we generally sing Simpson all to, together. All together. together. <laughs> okay. Together. Together. Two. Together. 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 Yes. Together. Together. <laughs> Pero muy bien, muy bien. Lo está haciendo muy bien. Decimos, we generally sing songs all together. We generally sing songs all together. We, we generally sing songs all together. Yes, super. Lo hizo super bien. Vamos con la 15, la última. Go to a gallery every Sunday. Sunday. Muy bien. We go to a gallery every Sunday. Excelente. Qué genial. Súper bien, súper bien. Eh, me ha gustado la forma como lo ha podido llevar paso a paso. Es cuestión de práctica. Y eso pues lo va adquiriendo a través de las clases. Eh, el día de mañana... Cuando vayamos a pronunciar una palabra, usted ahí, desde, desde ahí donde está, vaya pronunciando, ¿verdad? vaya pronunciándola. Usted la escucha y la pronuncia. Eso nos va a ayudar sí, a ir acoplándonos. A Vamos sí. agarrando ideas. Yo escuché que alguien dijo, oh, interesting. Y yo digo, a ver cómo dijo, interesting. Ok, el teacher dijo, oh, um, email to her best friend. o oh, email to her best friend. Oh, he goes to school. Oh, does he go to school? Mi Entonces, teacher, sí, mira, aquí lo escribo. Sí. En el módulo, yo lo voy escribiendo para que me cuesta, para que después estarlas repitiendo, pero igual todavía me cuesta un poquito, pero no, es pero cuestión es... de perfeccionarlo en el camino, la práctica hacia el Eso. maestro. Exactamente, <risa> creo que muchos no aprendimos así eh, tan rápido, sino que ha sido eh, un proceso, ¿verdad? Entonces ha sido bien para todos, yo creo que es normal, yo creo que es la parte más normal del inglés. Entonces, pues, eso es lo importante. Bien, eh, ¿hay algo más? Pues, quisiera agregar antes de que culmináramos ya la sesión. Ya le robé bastante tiempo acá en la práctica, pero es, es bastante, ha sido bastante importante. Así que, no sé, ¿alguna consulta, alguna duda que tenga? ¿O algo más? No, pues, sí, es nada más darle las gracias porque realmente es una gran oportunidad. 
claro, es igual aprendemos muchísimo en este proceso. Así que muchas gracias por todo y eh, have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye.